Hey everyone, our first video for 2019 and we're going to do a flip and drag, our signature piece that we love making. Um, 10 by 20, um, this is kind of a level 2 canvas with the gasket in the back and I'm going to be using some colors that are a little more on the feminine side, um, however, um, with the metallics in there it can also be more masculine as well. So we're going to be using, um, of course, our creative inspirations, black with silicone. The Craft Smart Deep Bronze Metallic with silicone. The Premier Deep Turquoise. And Premier paints are found at AC Moore. And this is the Artist Loft Cobalt Blue Hue, and this is also a metallic. I want some shine and some spark. So we're going to be using a 5 ounce cup, and I am going to spray it with the WD-40. This is a silicone spray. It's not just 100% silicone, but it does work to release all the paint from the cup, making it much easier for you to wash your cups if you reuse, and it may give you a few little extra cells. But I am going to rub this in. That way all my paint won't stick to the edges. And wipe my hands real well. So I'm going to start with a little bit of black. And go right into the deep bronze metallic. I'm going to set that aside. Uh, the Deep Turquoise from Premier. Now on a flip and drag you don't need very much paint. And I'm also going to be using the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue Hue on top of that turquoise. And a little bit more of the Deep Bronze. So all in all, I did not go past... Ugh, I hate this focusing thing. We did get a new camera, we just have not played with it yet. Okay, so rule of thumb with me is I don't go past the height of my pinky finger on the side. I am going to give that just a tiny swirl. I tried to shut the autofocus off, but then it was not clear enough of a picture. There we go. And I am going to poke holes to let the suction out. When you put your cup on top of white paint, or any other color, um, the cup has a tendency to vacuum shut. So this just lifts it up just a little bit so that the paint can start to flow. And we're going to bring it this way. I'm trying to glide that cup on top of the white paint. And on your way back, try to grab some of what you left behind. Now, if you know, if you've been watching me, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to move some of this paint. There we go. Right over the edge. I'm just going to give it a minute to settle down. I'm also going to give it a quick torch just to pop the air bubbles. I have lots of cells. And now we're going to do some tilting to stretch that out. And that also shows me where all my paint is at, so I know um, where I need to thin it down just a little bit. And it will also cover any bare spots that your cup might have hit the canvas. Always bring it back to that middle section so that your cells come back. And I'm going to try to tip a little bit off this way. We'll see if we can get something going there. 
You have to give it a hard tilt sometimes to get it over there. And if your paint is on the right consistency, you shouldn't get any zigzagging. So we're going to bring it back. I'm watching these cells till they get round again. Okay. So, for all you girls that got the airbrush for Christmas, congrats. <laughs> Welcome to the wild side, right? So now we're going to go ahead and airbrush all these edges out to give us a more filigree look. Cause you could leave it like this and you could play around with your skewer and bring little things out and um, blow with a straw as well. But all of us that have the airbrush just take it one step farther. And I always push until I have the filigree look and not like the the bubble edge. Like if you're blowing, blowing, oh my goodness, blowing with a straw, you may get a line at the end and you want to blow that out. So be careful when you're using the straw that you don't get that look. That would mean you might be going in too far, so try to stay on the very edges. Not sure if I need any of that out there. But I do want to bring this into here just a little bit. And you can do some corrections with your airbrush as well. You can see I pushed that line out and I have a little line here. Watch how I push that out. You don't want that loop. It takes away from the prettiness of your painting if you have loops. You want it wispy. When I started doing flip and drags, I already had the airbrush, so I've never really done it with a straw. So I only know that I have success with this little guy. Alright, let me turn it around. And I'll be pulling some of that down as well. Because I see here where I need to do just a little bit of correction work and right in there. But it's harder to push it away um, to fix it, so I always bring it towards me to fix it. Now we're pulling those metallics out. And some of the turquoise. Take your time and play around with it. You don't want to go too much though. And you want to kind of keep checking, stepping back and looking and saying, um, you know, this might be out farther than this and doing some adjustments. And if you make a mistake, you can always push it back in with your airbrush and push it back out. If you did get an airbrush and you're too afraid to use it yet, <clears throat> practice on a tile. Um, lay some lines of color down and just push out. Hold it like a pencil. It makes a big difference. Just 
that one a little there. Be there. But I love and I love this um, result here with the white lacing around that. I'm not digging this right here, so I'm gonna push a little bit in and some of this out, and we'll fix this here. Just looks like a big gob of black there. Let me see what's under here. It's white. So I'm gonna pull some of this into that, hopefully, and move that white into that black. And bring that out. And that will reveal more cells there too. I feel like it needs something here though. Let me see what paint I have here. There we go. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of oomph. That's much better. I love this here too. I don't want to really touch it. And I want to see if there's some cells under that. Because they seem to be trying to peek up. Oh yeah. Okay. That's good. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click that below. And click on the bell right next to it. You'll get notified when I upload the next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join us at our, on our group on Facebook, the Parage Posse. And you can come in and look at all the artist's work. And if you have questions, we answer them for you quite quickly. Um, it's just a nice place to um, fellowship, I always say, right? Um, if you want to try something new, there's someone there to tell you how. Um, they're more than willing to post a video to show you how. The girls are awesome there, and I'm so happy that we got our own little community now, besides being on YouTube and just leaving comments below. Let me give you a close-up look of this beautiful painting. And all of my artwork is for sale. Um, if you're interested, you can always send me a message through Facebook. I have a Christina Welch art page and as well as the group or you can leave a message in the comment and I will get to you as soon as I can and we also have paintings available in our Etsy shop and right now there is a sale through January 19th um, all the paintings are on sale so you might want to grab one if you didn't get one for Christmas you might want one now right so um, check out all the links below we have um, lots of stuff available. The stone coat, art coat code has, um, the code is still the same, but the co the offer, oh my goodness, I'm so have, having such a hard time with words today. The offer is now $10 off a $100 order. And if you ordered the gallon of the art coat, you get 10 bucks off. So any savings is savings for this beautiful product. Um, I only use it and I will never use another resin again um, no VOC's it's heat resistant so if you're making coasters to put hot coffee cups on you, it's great you will have no sticking um, your artwork like this will not yellow over time I had that problem with a few other resins where it yellowed through here and it just takes away from your artwork so check all that stuff out below and if you're interested in sponsoring our channel, that link is below as well. And get in on our giveaways. We also do subscriber giveaways. Um, watch for those coming up soon. And as always, have yourselves a great one, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.